I don't see it as a Jewish problem. I see it as a problem with humanity, something that we all need to address, something that we're constantly needing to learn from. Act 30 is the law that requires the Holocaust and other genocides to be taught. And it was signed into law April of 2021. We could go into classroom after classroom every day for 365 days um, and still not reach as many students as training teachers through these workshops. Since the passing of Act 30, Herc has worked with over 300 school districts out of the 400 plus. We've trained over 775 teachers and impacted well over 100,000 students in such a short amount of time. To me, that's miraculous that we've been able to do that much good work in helping students understand the important history of the Holocaust. Wisconsin actually leads the nation as far as younger millennials and Gen Z having Holocaust knowledge. We work with a teacher um, fairly frequently. Last year, she told us that her seventh graders, they were giving the Nazi salute. So I went in there and we had a really great conversation. A lot of the students wrote me letters afterwards and they were like, I didn't realize like what the impact was. And I want them to really feel empathy towards other human beings and to not discriminate the same way that people were discriminated against during the Holocaust. And for those that deny that it happened, I don't know if it's ignorance, I don't know if it's hate, but those are the people that I really want to reach and I'm hoping that I have the opportunity at least once in my life to maybe change someone's mind in that way. Having Herc as a partner it has been just a godsend for us because we're a very rural area, 31 school districts in Southwest Wisconsin. Some of them are very small and they can't provide all the services that would be necessary to help the kids in their districts. HERC provides really wonderful resources. Um, they have great facilitators. When we're talking, for example, about anti-Semitism and you have a survivor who's talking about their experiences with anti-Semitism, that really kind of drives that home for the students and really fully allows them to understand. That's the thing that really resonates with kids. They see history as kind of this thing that happened. It was back then. If you can bring it to, but it's happening now too, I think those are the things that really connect with them. They really, um, they can put those pieces together. It makes more sense to them and it makes a better connection with them. It sticks with them. And this plethora of resources is amazing. I'm confident that, again, that anybody that attends this training is going to be able to walk into their classroom and, and present impactful lessons. It is kind of, it's almost your one-stop shop. Having that organization, um, kind of facilitate all those things, that's a teacher's dream. Students might not know the dates, they might not know the numbers, they might not know exactly when Germany invaded Poland, but I want them to know what happened and to feel the human story and the human connection. 